Gonna loot? No, it's not good. Things might seem a little, um, little scurry. And in fact, if you're uh, on YouTube, the intro might not even be there. It depends. I'm gonna have to listen back to it later and uh, see if it double played or not because it was showing on both desktop audio and its own dedicated file. So it might have actually double played there. I don't know. We're, uh, we're officially OBS mains because apparently XSplit decided like somewhere in the course of the last, um, was it 14, 15, 14 days, somewhere in the last 14 days, they decided we're going to release an update that everyone who doesn't pay us money is going to have a watermark on their stream from now on. Nice big one right at the bottom middle. And I was like, cool. Well, I'm not going to pay three bucks a month for software that I use two days a week. So, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's, um, ba -ba. OBS time. Cool. Great. Hide that. Hit that. I don't know, by the way, how broken this is going to be. So. The answer was pretty broken. But also not entirely broken. Hang on. We can make this work. There we go. Jiggle some of the proverbial wires here. They're not wires. I'm actually just switching sources. Uh, webcam bug. There we go. I don't know why I call it webcam bug. I probably had a reason at the time, but I don't remember it now. There I am. I'm so small in the corner. I'm also so weirdly colored in the corner. Problem is, I don't have to reset all my, like, graphical s color settings. Uh, configure video. Uh, turn up the bright. It's kind of like Spider-Man, turn out the dark, except in this case, it's turn up the bright. That'll be fine enough for now. We're not going to spend all stream fixing it. Because we're already late enough as it is. All right. Let's get this uh, plugged in again. Give it a sec. I don't know if I like the fact that it kept saying no signal even when I unplugged it. Recognize that it exists. Uh oh. Tried to switch it back to HDMI, it's being weird. Oh no, no, don't suspend OBS entirely. Uh oh, I mean, this is just a technical difficulty stream, isn't it? Might have broke something again. In which case, uh, oh, there we go. It figured itself out. All right, let's try unplugging it completely again. So that's what I don't like, is that's just sitting on no signal as if it's not actually receiving feedback. Because that should flip to disconnected.
Yeah, I don't think that's... I don't think it's working. I think that's just borked. Hang on. There we go. Just had to toggle its activation. Apparently, it was indeed borked. However, now it's green. Again. In order to fix the green, I just had to, um, like, apply a color balance onto it. That'd be funny. Here's what I think is when I unplug it, I think it just stops feeding. Yeah, it's just chilling out being green. Figured out the problem, by the way. <laughs> this is going to be silly, but I figured out the problem. For some reason, when it connects, sometimes its hue gets set to 80. That's when it turns green. That's what's been doing it. Cool. Huh. Now that we've successfully spent about the first 15 minutes of stream troubleshooting everything, let's actually play the game. I've got cakes. I've got a quest. I've got a team. And I've got a big Pokemon to fight. I can close that for now. Oh wait, that's a flower. I'm not gonna lie, for some reason I thought this was uh, Florges. Tells me I haven't played this game for two weeks. Interesting. Actually, the game does want me to travel. Yeah, the game wants me to travel the long way around here is what it wants me to do. But I can just say thanks but no thanks and jump down these rocks. It's fine. What's the jump button in this game again? Oh, wait. There isn't one. That's my problem. Yeah, the game wants me to travel through Paris country. Which, if I've learned anything already, it's that Paris country is not a place we want to go through. It's like bat country. No one wants to go through it. That Paris is an angry boy. That doesn't sound of a dee 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 whoop. Have I healed? Yes, I have. Good. Fight each other. Imagine if Pokemon actually could fight each other just in the wild. That'd be cool. You could come upon them fighting and then intervene in them fighting if you want. Or just fight the winner and they're at like half health or something. This Paris needs to cease what it's doing. That's one way to stop it from doing what it was doing, is to just catch it. Oh, I found where the Dealey Lee Whoops were coming from. 
That's right. And there's a big one down uh, that way that I have marked on my map. I'm remembering. I'm replacing tax information with Pokemon information. It's fine. All right. Time to be terrified. It's time for us to make bad life decisions. Since we can't swim, we've got to go through it. You don't see me, I'm behind a rock. Do backstrikes even matter for starting a battle? I don't know. All right, he's turned around. Backstrike! Yeah, okay, it does matter. He's alpha and he's filled with a primal might. He is super effective. Alright. Strong. Or at. Oh, okay. So actually, which button you push doesn't matter. It'll allow you to cycle through them both anyway. Agile will let me attack sooner. I'm going for damage. I'll still get hit twice. Oh, he knows styles. Okay. Oh, he knows ice. Even worse. Bird friend, you're a god. Here's my problem. I don't think this kills. I don't think that did 50%. <laughs> Watch him try and dodge. Watch him try and avoid me. Hilarious. Oh, he'll only move a little bit. Okay. Funny that this is the game where I can, um... Like, run around freely and move enemies around. When this would be much more powerful in Yakuza. Here's the thing, no matter what I die on this next hit he does, so let's just go for broke. Yeah, it wasn't half. The icy wind bird friend down. I just realized I could potentially catch this guy. I know you can catch alphas. People do it. Or I could just kill it. Which admittedly is probably the better point. an alpha Pokemon. Look at us. Kicking butt. Well, now we're into a new area I haven't been in before. Who knows what terrible things we'll find. It's probably fine. Who any experience on? All of you, basically. Is that collectible? 
No, it's just uh, fluff. <gasps> Psyduck! And Beneries! This will be interesting when I unpause this. That's what I was afraid of! I don't think he saw me. No, he saw me! Well, there's the end of my no damage to trainer, Ron. I wasn't sure. I thought maybe if I went to the menu and backed out, it would assume that I'm not going to throw that ball, but it did. Well, we'll catch him like this. Simultaneously a relief and not a relief that I have now um, taken damage. Who saw me? Where did you come from? That Psyduck just spawned in behind me. The heck? So, you know, that's 50%. There's something under there. It's probably a Geodude. <gasps> problem is, I don't know how to... Oh, it's B. Buneary! Good music. I was wondering when the music in this game would pick up. Finally did. Alright, what's under there? Yeah, it's just a Geo dude. Figured. Get it out of here. the music in this game finally picked up. Is this a remix of something? Because I actually kind of like it. It's got a vague bit of like, um... Like trumpets going on. Oh, this is an easy catch. Free Pokemon, everybody. No one saw that. I caught a heavy Psyduck. Look at that.
No, you didn't see that. Go get the food. That's right, go get it. Hey, new berry. New berry got made. Which was apparently a quest item? I don't know. Either that or the exclamation mark means it's new. One of the two. Got some more wormples. I want this evolutionary didgeridoos over here. Don't know if this is the one that we've already seen or not. You don't see me. Huh, it didn't see me. Weird. That catch should not have worked, by the way. And it didn't. I don't know if this is the one I've already got or not. If not, then we're gonna be... No, that is the new one. Okay, that's the one that we didn't get. We got a lot of cascoons, but not any silcoons. I like the fact that the Psyducks and the Baneeries just kinda hang out with each other. They're just out here doing what they do. That thing is gonna get aggressive. I guarantee it. Actually, it might get spooked. Do I have that in here yet? I think I just have the moth. No, I have them both. Okay. This is fine, then. You can play a little aggressive with it, then. Do we know what it likes? Hang on. Does like mushrooms. Let's try out these mushroom cakes for once, huh? Look at how much that makes that easy to catch. Cakes are the future. Are you serious? All that and it didn't catch. It had everything going for it. Oh no, poison. Is Ghost naturally strong against poison? I guess it is. Now you're going to my normie ball. Are you serious? I hate everything right now. And now Drift Luna's paralyzed, because of course. And point. Actually, did those go right? Wait a minute. Yeah, okay, those override. Heck out of here, beautifly. I'm gonna be so mad when that breaks after one turn. Tell you what. Wait, how is that legal? You're asleep.
Get out of here. Just get out of here. I no longer want anything to do with you. Psyduck and Baneary. More Beautifly. Might be able to get that Psyduck and Baneary combo, actually. Yeet! This Psyduck is not having a good day. Psyduck asleep? Well, if he was, he's not now. Gonna come into the grass. Perfect. Buddy, thanks. Taking that. Now, as for you. Don't know how that didn't notice me. It also wasn't eating, but I think that might have been why it didn't notice me. Oh, that's a Scyther! Which means Cleavor is an evolved form of Scyther. We figured it out, everybody. I think we gotta take the normal route. Hi, Wurmple. Hi, Wurmple. That's a Baneary. Can't take you with me, Wurmple. I'm busy. That's fine, if it wants to run away. I've got a bunch of them already anyway. So that's our destination. That's uh... I don't know what that is. Thought it was a mudkip from this angle. All right, let's get some revives going here. Cause I'm sure this fight is gonna suck. Dang, those do a lot of EXP, actually, now. Those did, like, 10 experience in, a uh, Sword and Shield. I only do, like, a whole level. Ah, there's our potions. Let's go ahead and fill them up. I'm assuming this is Bug. So let's start with uh, Staravia. Which is our most likely super effective. Are these Gwibbles? I think they might be Gwibbles. There's actually a lot of area here that we haven't explored yet. Well, I guess not a ton. There's this edge bit. This area here, though, there's a ton that we haven't explored at yet. Mostly guarded by the uh, Snorlax and or getting our Surf Pokemon. Okay. 
Game Freak tree quality, by the way, in full effect. Kid, where did you find a cowboy hat? Ancestor of the cowboy from Gen 5. Where did you find a cowboy hat in ancient Japan? With, the lightning struck him and left him imbued with a divine might. Well, that's that then. <laughs> I'm going to bow. No, I'll take you on. It's a Goomy! Well, not necessarily the best pick for a Goomy. Isn't Goomy Baby Dragon? Might be Dragon Poison. In which case, I. I think I want Drifloon out here. Boop, boop. Standard style. Hey, you got to attack twice. It said you were only going to attack once. Boom me down. That was easy. Just that distant sound of the quest updating. Two favorite foods, all right. She had a feeling I'd be coming. By the false, you know. Oh, oh no. Don't you two go to war over this. I don't know. But that's why I'm here, is because we don't know. And then I just leave. Hey, God's calling me. Mysterious power now enables you to return to base camps in an instant. Wait. Didn't I already have this power? Also, now that we have a nice little text box, let's do this and scale accordingly. Beautiful. Look at that. Can I go past you guys? I can. I assume our friend Cleavor, however, is not here right now. Please leave a message after the beep. Yeah, that's the only reason they'd have let me past. That there was no danger in me doing so. 
Oh, that's a big skither. Hang on. Hide that, please. Let's go ahead and mark the big skizor. Or a big skither. That's another skither! Attention all besties, fight! Stop Mr. Goober from getting another attack in. But I don't want to kill him, so let's just use quick attack. Okay, if I agile style quick attack, it won't kill him, and I'll get a chance to throw a ball before he attacks. Ball! Okay, good. We got him. That's some extra dex entries. For all my good work. Am I able to evolve right now? No? Okay. Yeah, I could always fast travel. Wait a minute. Oh, it's just a, um, instead of having to select it on the map, I can just select it from a menu. That's dumb. That didn't deserve a text box. Well, it's going anyway. Wow, look at all these things I caught. Most of them were new. Uh, total caught nine. Species caught five. First time four. Oh, it's all gone. Did we finish anybody? Let's see. I don't know if Drifloon was finished before, but it is now. Viberell is still only three. I should have caught the alpha. Geodude is done, but I think Geodude was always done. Baneri was just instantaneously done. I love ones that do that. Because I fed it a lot, and I caught it without being seen a lot. Look at that. Found in the heartwood. <laughs> My hypothesis as to why Baneri rolls its ears is that its hearing is far too keen. I surmise this Pokemon protects its hearing by limiting the sound that may enter its ears. Hey, that's the first one that doesn't sound like they recycled the dex entry. Look at that. Psyduck we still need some work on. Mostly by fighting it, interestingly enough. Or feeding it. Which is ironic because they move so little that I just keep heavy balling them in the back. Silcoon now exists. We know it exists, so that's cool. And Skither now exists. It's bug flying. Uh, use rock type moves. And then it's just the, yeah, so that's all just fight them. Skither is one of those that we gotta fight. That is ranked up. I hope these ranks get a lot harder soon because right now they're kind of silly easy. This normal course of events, frantically will be calmed by a nice serving of food. Fool's gambits are what I'm here for, buddy. Tick tock, tick tock. Is 
about to figure it out, yep. <laughs> I could have told you that. time balls <laughs> nice of the game to not make me have to sleep overnight for this one I have as far as quests as I can turn in go. Uh, we can give a Wurmple to Beauregard. Now that we have a uh, Silcoon, we can give a Wurmple to that guy. We haven't found a big Buzil. I understand now why this quest sucks. And it's because it doesn't tell you... It tells you how many Buzils you have. It doesn't tell you if they're big enough. I'll add two more slots to my bag for safety. Oh, that fee just went up sharp. Okay. Never mind. I'm not paying a thousand right now. Actually, hang on. Before I leave, can I rank up? I talked to you to rank up. Yeah, okay. Rank me up, lady. I got a star. I can now use great balls. Capricorn, Iron Chunk, and Tumble Stone. Get idea how far ahead I am. Pokemon up to level 40 obey me. I'm pretty sure this Cleavor is going to be level 20. While I'm here in town, let me quick, uh... Flag the Wurmple, dude. Give him one. Am I out of... No, I do have a Wurmple left. Dude. I hate all of these, but we'll go with that one. It's the only one that sounds like a real name. Bet I come back later in the game, and he has a quest about how his Wormple became a Dust Ox. Now, most important thing. New clothing. Got some headkerchiefs. I think those were here last time, though. Well, actually, maybe not. Maybe they are new. They're not bad. You just need a different top for them, though. Uh, festive top is new. Let's 
Still don't think I like it more than the um, team top, though. Split toe boots. That looks painful. Kidding me? Can you believe that the best outfit in this game is the outfit I already have? But there's just going to be nothing better in this game than what I already am wearing. I don't like that you're standing there. I think you're going to fight me. Everyone's healed up. Do I want to change out my roster at all right now? I don't think I do. Cascoon's entry is done, right? I think I'm gonna just keep my current roster for now. I know I've got stuff that I need to do, like research with. Who in my roster has already had their research completed? Let's consult that. Pichu is done, but I haven't found a Pikachu yet, so we'll stick with him for now. Starly's done, but I don't care about Starly's right now. Shinx is done, but I don't care about Shinx's. Staravia still needs some love. Uh, Luxio still needs love. Dartrix is done, but I want to evolve it. Because I don't know if we can find um, Decidueyes in the wild. Otherwise, I think everything still needs research. Drifloon is done. But until such a time as I uh, can evolve it, I want to keep it in the party so it gets experience. So that has to be coming up soon, right? I want to pull anything out of here. I've got Ultra Balls and I'm not legally allowed to use them yet. Rare Candy, but I want to wait on that. Pull out ten ultra or ten um heavy balls. Is there anything I want to put away quick while we're here? That I have no use for right now? The answer is no. Everything else I want to keep on me. Imagine just kicking me out into the Heights camp like that. Hey, it's weird here. I spoke to weird here about what's been going on. He didn't give me much insight. He never really does. He responded by showing up today. Yes, I too play the flute by going. Cool, so here's the ride, Pokemons. 
I mean, I knew ride Pokemon existed because I've seen people surfing on the back of a shark or whatever. Here, opened its heart. I didn't know we were playing Coliseum. I've received a big piece of bubble gum. Does Weird Ear have a jump? Plus button, summon a Pokemon to ride on. Stay alert for all Pokemon attacks and avoid falling from high places. Okay. Um, I wanted to check out that item. Stone tablet and beauty of the essence. It's like Genjin used on a certain Pokemon without his Pokemon gain the power. Okay, yeah, so that's just all Arceus stuff. Um, I was going to do something, wasn't I? I don't remember what it was. Oh, well, probably nothing important then. So, instead of doing that, let's do the VOD split thing. Here we go. Back in a couple minutes time for more. Shout out to Chaos for trending for 
three entirely unrelated reasons today between uh, the Sonic movie trailer, uh, Final Fantasy Origins, and uh, there was one other thing too that was trending it. Some other game or something, wasn't it? Oh yeah, it was also trending a lot. Be oh yeah, because uh, Doctor Strange. Because apparently chaos magic is a thing. I don't know. I don't comics. So that's fun. Also, everyone's mad at GTA Online again because they always are. Yay. Cool. Great. That was instantaneous. Even came with a saddle. He does have a jump. Look at him go. He drives terribly. He has to, like, actually rotate into the direction of travel he's trying to go. He doesn't just insta-switch. This is terrible. I hate it. This is me rotating the stick. Yeah, circle. This is horrible. Why would anybody ever want to do this? Oh, that might be why. Whee! Well, he can jump from higher distances without dying, at least. Basically, this is the Pokemon you use when you want to say, screw it, I don't care about encounters. That's it, Alpha. I'm just going to ignore you. Goodbye. Double Baneary. What is that? That's not like a... What do you guys do if I uh, spook you, by the way? Okay, Baneary's just run. It's the Psyducks you gotta be afraid of. Is that a Silcoon? Oh, I see. At night, it's the Moth line. During the day, it's the Butterfly line. That's kind of neat. I'm seeing the Zubat here, and I was like... For some reason, my mind went to... Remember Biddy Bat? I think Biddy Bat is still the, like, one unused beta gen 1 Pokemon that I actually care about. Because it was Biddy Bat. It was just a circle with wings and a single tooth. It was hilarious. Boop. Get caught. Got him. Like I used Weird Ear for like five seconds and then was like, this is stupid. Because it is. <gasps> it's a combi! Never seen that yet. Good thing I did that. Does sleep not actually halt them from fighting anymore? I don't like that. Or do you have to strong style it for that to happen? I could see that. By the way, we caught our first combi. Good job, gamers. And got some more research on Drifloon, who didn't need it. I wonder if you can jump this gap. 
Yeah, he can. Get another B. Rain? What does rain do? Now I'm just curious. Any more of those uh, mushroom cakes? Yeah, I do. Aw, oh, heck. Tried to be quick about it because I realized I was in a bad position. This might be a mistake, but it's a mistake we're gonna make. Wasn't a mistake, we fine. Pichu leveled up. Someday I'll startle them successfully. I'm gonna go ahead and hide here. No, that's the same one as before, okay. Hey, new berry just dropped. Surprise! I forgot I don't have a jump button. I was gonna jump down and be like, surprise! Well, we've got a theory. It's not a good one, but it's a theory. The Galaxy Team invented the concept of a throwable ball. Ma'am, are you sure you should be dressed like that in the rain? Plump beans. Oh, okay, you brought them. Glaceon, huh? All right. Why does the lighting make me look like... Like I've been in a sauna too long. It's gonna get two of those off. Oh, Swift! All right. Seems like a job for Pichu. An experience for Pichu, too. You he's startled? Come on, it's not that terrifying.
Strong Pichu. Come on, get the paralyze. Well, Pichu went down like a sack of bricks. That figures. I haven't used Astonish before. I won. Can Trifloon just evolve already? I'm half tempted to just use a rare candy on it. I don't want it on my team, I just want it evolved. You know, it's kind of funny when you think about the fact that a lot of the crux of this game's plot is just the Galaxy team invented the concept of a ball. You know, I like the idea of soothing balms more than I like the idea of calling them tea time balls. Why, yes, I am readjusting this a little. Well, that's neat. You can actually warm up the color a little. I'm going to warm it up a little bit. Because it should be warmer. Me, I'm going to warm it up a little bit. Me, it doesn't actually warm it up much at all. I think gain is what I'm looking for here. That's our mystery setting that makes us look like not trash. Have some flicker going on. But changing the power line frequency doesn't help. Oh no, it's become all dark. Focus should always be auto. It feels off. It doesn't have quite the color livery that it should. It just feels kind of washed out and dark. Oh well, that gets us closer. think we'd put them in bags honestly I thought we were going to just you know mush them into balls like our cakes keep my focus on Cleavor Dodging will be vital. I think I've seen this boss fight before. 
Yeah, then all of a sudden I look just washed out and white again. I need to fiddle with those settings. Maybe it's just because I have this on too high. Maybe that's the problem today. Well, one is too dark. Let's try it on setting two. It might just be that I'm too washed out from the light today. ZL hold the focus, Y to dodge. X doesn't matter, we're just throwing bombs. Flame victory against a known Pokemon and quell its friends, you have to throw bombs at it until its frenzy gauge reaches zero. You create an opening in the defenses, you'll be able to send out a Pokemon in the battle against it. Win the battle, and the guard will stay down for a brief time. Then window bombs will be more effective than usual. Throw as many as you can. Got it. I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay. Now. Try and paralyze him. Chomsky is the answer. I wouldn't have expected. It's rock, not steel. Chomsky, let's do it again. Oh, there's a health bar on him, okay. That shouldn't have worked, but it did. That also shouldn't have worked. Send him into the wall. Chomsky him. Okay, this is fine. He just gave up this fight. Strong style water pulse one hit KOs. Okay, I somehow missed that one. I know why I missed that is because I hit the wrong button. <sighs> that was like a that was like a samurai stare down there. We just both rushed each other, and I got the first hit in. Everybody leveled up. I got the insect play. Oh, I get it. There's one of there's a I there's a lord of every type, and every lord I beat is going to give me its plague type. 
It's a Final Fantasy plot. Gotta collect those elemental doodads. Then use them like eight years later in a boss fight. Well, what happened is I won. Strange Lightning came out of the space-time rift the other night. Bolts must have struck Cleavor and driven him into a frenzy. Yeah, it needed to be done. I'm like, yeah, we didn't kill it, and that's good. And then I realized, wait a minute, Cleavors are extinct in the future. Shut up, small child. You gave me berries. You know, I feel like a lot of my problems with these clans could be settled if I just showed them my god phone. Just be like, listen, I'm on a mission from God. No, we haven't gone this way yet. Let's go this way. Since I imagine now that we finish this mission, we'll unlock a new area soon. Oh, yeah. Can anyone do anything? see the moves without going into the change move screen. Picked up Roost, but I don't care. You're only your main four. How about you? You have Hex. Attack with Relentless Intensity moves powers double if it has a if the target has a status affliction. It's already better than Astonish. So let's just swap those. We'll keep Calm Mind for the moment. Doesn't need that many text boxes to explain what was going on there. Really didn't. That's just a Baneary. I'm going to assume Drifloon evolves at um, 25, right? That's a flying Pokemon. I was right. Remember I said earlier in the game that um, it's probably going to be like, eventually we'll unlock Fly and there'll be flying Pokemon. By the way, that thing is flying at like 2 FPS. But that's fine because it's a distance render. I'm not one of those stooges. That basically confirms that there's flying. Now I need to go ahead and uh, catch one of you, I think. Buddy, you want to come with?
Somehow that worked. Don't ask me how, but it did. Our elegant little dance. Dear friend, help me. Thank you. Is that one asleep? Nope. It's keeping its guard up. Aw, oh, boo, it ran away. I'm assuming naturally running away Pokemon just will always run away. Uh-oh. Okay, we're fine. Okay, we're less fine. We are very much unfine. We're fine. Hey, that's where combis live. all around up here. Let's see what we can do for him, huh? find out what the bees do. Oh, these count as foliage you can hide in. Okay. That's neat. Didn't realize that. Uh, Yolu got a new move. Guess we should probably check that out. What did you learn? Thunder Wave. Don't care. Even in this game, I continue my trend of not caring about status moves. Most of the time. Will I ever break that? Alright, these ones are going to be seen, no, I'm going to be seen by no matter what I do, basically. So let's see what they do. Oh, okay. You play hardball, huh? Hardball is a bit of a lie. They are... I guess the answer is they're territorial. So, like, they won't... They'll attack, but they won't actually aggress on you. Yeah, they can't... Once they're startled, they can't be caught, but they also don't aggress on you. Some skithers. 
I care about those. Hey, look, that tree's broken now. Attentions to detail. Pichu needs some love and experience. Let's get him some. Let's get the little guy. What? Oh, come on. I didn't know it was possible to stray too far from the battle. Does me being on this cliff count as too far, I wonder? So the red X means you can't catch them without a battle. That's what's going on there. Pichu nearly died. Pichu's not good at this. Pokemon thing. Pichu is secretly really not good at this. Boy, if that had been any move that wasn't that, that would have hurt. But it was that. Oh, I thought I had him by surprise there for a moment. Perfect. And then if it lives, we throw a ball. Perfect. the map edge fog. Can I still pick things up? I can. Okay. This is Electric Baby Country, which actually might be good. Bigger than average electric baby. Is everything I have weak to electricity? Most of what I have is weak to electricity. F it. Strong style bite. He didn't use electricity. Oh, dang, it killed. Shinx was trying to run. Oh, the D-pad also works for that. Okay. That's news. You fool. Doesn't affect me.
Oh, that's a big Baneri. Wait a minute. Go ahead and mark that murder machine. Nope, its status as a murder machine is not guaranteed. It might just be level 16. A spooky, mysterious cave. And a combi. We'll kill the combi. Have it. Murder the bee! And here at the entrance of the spooky, mysterious cave is where we'll go ahead and save for now. And therefore, next week, we'll come back and explore what is going on in this spooky, mysterious cave. I don't know what the answer to that is, but we'll find out. Alright, let's hit that, and hit that. Nice thing about switching back to OBS, because, again, XSplit screwed me. And put a watermark on everything unless I pay to remove it. Is, um... Music actually starts without me having to push extra buttons again. That's nice. Problem is, OBS has a problem with frame dropping. And I'm remembering that now as I see that on an otherwise normal stream, I dropped 2100 frames for no discernible reason. That's why I switched to XSplit. XSplit is a lot better at not dropping frames. <sighs> it's, it's tough. It's a tough life, I tell ya. Anyway, I'll be back on Friday, same bad time, same bad station, with more Yakuza Like a Dragon, where, um, as I recall, we've, me and my uh, two middle-aged friends have been hired to investigate hostesses, to use a kind term, that have been skipping out on work. And, well, I think... She's working a side job because her father is being held hostage in a Yakuza-run nursing home. We'll see if that's the case on Friday. Monday, more of this game. We will explore the spooky cave and make our way back to turn in our quest for Cleor. Should be fun. Should be great. Let's find a host. Ah, uh, Twitch Live is broke. That's right. Always forget that. Always forget that. Someday it'll be fixed. Hopefully. Or, I'll, or someone will make a new app to do the same thing. Uh, who's live under 1,000? Man, it's amazing that Whippy gets uh, 2,000 views on stuff that he just outright admits is VODs. Because he's asleep right now. It's crazy. Uh, Spike is doing Mario Party Superstar All Boards with... Okay. I think that might be... Super Mario 64 and Rocket League. Okay, Chrisom. All right, buddy. Uh, yeah, I think we'll throw a host over to... Spike Vegeta, who's doing some Mario Party. Should be fun. Do that. I'm gonna go, I don't know, probably figure out pizza stuff. And so on and so forth, back Friday. Friday's my birthday also, so it'll be an evening stream. Bye. I gotta hit two buttons to end this.